Ever wanted to have those really cool light rays coming in off of flashlights in your action short films, that dreamy smoke that comes from dry ice, or just something to make your shot look a little bit more dynamic, but you don't want to invest in a uh, wall-powered fog machine? Well, today you can get just that in a small battery-powered handheld unit. What I'm talking about is the Ulanzi FM01. This is the Filmog Ace. This directly competes with similar units on the market like the PMI Gear Smoke Genie and the Smoke Ninja, both of which are priced between four and eight times as much as this guy. But before we get started, this video is not sponsored by Ulanzi, but they did ship this over to me in advance of release. Unfortunately though, due to bad timing of the shipping and all of that, it took me a little bit longer than expected to get it in. Again, as with everything that I discuss in my videos, I'll be leaving a link to where you can get this in the description, which is of course an affiliate link, so if you'll please use that, it'll help the channel out a little bit. But starting off with the price. This comes in at a very affordable $109.95 for everything that you're going to see in the video. Or if you wanna get a pair of these, you can get a discount of $10. With that out of the way though, there are some important things that you'll need to know. So this is a 40 watt handheld fog machine with 36 built-in presets, varying intensities. It also operates off of two included 18650 batteries with USB-C recharging. It weighs 366.5 grams with dimensions of 5.8 centimeters by 5.77 centimeters by 16.4 centimeters. So it's pretty small and it can be continually operated up to about 30 minutes. Unfortunately though, I'm not gonna be able to test that because where I'm at currently doesn't really have uh, the best places to actually test out something like this. The atomizing chamber holds eight milliliters of an 80-20 mixture of vegetable glycerin to propylene glycol. They give you a 60 milliliter supply with your first purchase. And if you want more, you can easily find mixtures on places like Amazon. Ulanzi themselves will carry replacements once this product is officially released, but they don't really seem to have it up now. Finally, this also has a built-in remote control with a really nice 1.08 full color display and a remote control distance up to 10 meters. Finally, for accessories, you get this really nice carrying bag with slots for everything and a little pouch up top for all the other accessories, including a customizable rigid nozzle, as well as a flexible nozzle with an adapter for it and a sponge attachment so that we can thicken up the fog and get it to look more like dry ice. So moving on to operation, I'd highly recommend reading the manual when you get this since there's a ton of features and nuances. Definitely you'll wanna have a good grasp on all of that before you get started. And when you first get the package, throw the batteries into the main unit and make sure that you use the printed plus and minus indicators on the batteries to guide you since they're the flat kind of 18650. So looking at the little nubs and flat ends doesn't really help out so much. Then. While you're charging, fill up the atomizing chamber. To do that, just simply open up the rubber stopper on the top, fill it up with the fog mixture. If it's your first time filling it up, they recommend letting it sit for about three minutes. That's so that way it can fully coat everything inside of the chamber, since the oil is pretty viscous and slow moving. When you're ready to use, just press and hold the function button on the remote control until you see the fog icon on the display. Now you're ready to rock and roll. So. Something that I want to note is since it doesn't really describe this well in the manual, if you are using the remote and the screen turns off to conserve battery, the fog machine didn't actually turn off. You just need to wake it up by pressing any of the buttons one time. But anyway, onto the main display. You'll see a bunch of icons and it may look a little bit confusing at first, but it's actually pretty simple. So in the top left corner, you're gonna see your battery icon, which is the overall battery power for the unit. It's going to be in white if it's not charging, green if it is charging, and red if it's nearly dead. So to the right of that, you're going to see a connection icon. So this is going to flash until it's connected, and once it is, it's going to be a solid white. If it loses connection for any reason, or if you boot up the fog machine without it connected, um, it may turn red. Then all you have to do is just turn the device off, connect the remote to the device, turn it back on, and it should work. And then on the bottom left and right, you're going to see the charge status of each of the individual batteries separately, which is pretty useful if one has more charge than the other. In the center, we have a couple more icons. So at the top, we have this little bubble icon, which is going to be your six levels of fog intensity. Below that, you have your six levels of fan speed, and then below that is pro mode. 
Inside of probe mode, you're gonna have four more icons. The top is going to be your loop mode, so you can turn this on and off, whether you want the program to loop continually, or if you want it to just go one time and then stop. Below that, you have your continuous spray time. So this can be set in five second intervals all the way up to one minute. Then it goes in one minute increments all the way up to 12 minutes. Below that, you have a pause time, which can be set with the exact same options as the spray time. Finally, below that is your return button. So that is to leave pro mode. For navigation, it's pretty simple. When you're on the main screen, just press the function button one time. That'll highlight the fog icon green. Now you can use the plus or minus buttons to increase or decrease the fog level. You can then press the function button again to go to the fan settings or to the pro mode. If you wanna use the pro mode, all you have to do is just highlight it and then press plus or minus, and that will enter into pro mode. Then you just navigate the same way. Only here, you're going to be turning on and off the loop mode or increasing or decreasing the timers. So just keep that in mind. And another thing to keep in mind is that inside of pro mode, your fan speed and your fog settings are going to be conserved from normal mode. So if you have a fog setting of one and a fan setting of one in normal mode, those settings are gonna carry through to your pro mode. Likewise, if you have everything cranked to max, those are gonna carry through to pro mode. So just be aware of that since you may end up with a ton of fog really quickly if you don't. In normal mode, pressing and holding the red button starts the fog and stops it when you release it. If you wanna spray continuously, all you have to do is just double press the red button and that will keep it spraying continuously until it runs out of fog juice. Or if you wanna stop it, you can just press it one time more and that'll stop all of the fog. Inside of the pro mode to run your program, just simply press the red button and an icon will appear on the bottom of the remote. If you wanna stop a program early, just simply press the red button one more time and that will stop the program. Now that we have all of the operation stuff out of the way, let's have some fun. So here you'll have to excuse the fact that I can't really do a ton since I don't really wanna set off the smoke alarm here, but you can do a lot of nice effects. If you have some tube lights like these ones from Godox for product video or photo, you can get some pretty cool looking things. In this case, I'm just playing around with the Steam Deck and some Unreal Air glasses and using the Felmong Ace on a little table tripod mounted by its quarter 20 threads on the bottom. You can use the sponge attachment to fill objects up with smoke and then you can dump it out in sort of a dry ice effect if you wanna do that. That can be pretty cool for some product videos or you know just for playing around, having some fun. Or you can also use this to get some really nice light rays from hard light sources like this Amaran 300C with the Spotlight SE. So overall, what do I think about this product? Well, honestly, I think it's an outstanding value for the money. You get a really nice hard shell carrying case you get loads of storage for all of the batteries, the atomizer, the 60 milliliters of fog juice. You also get wireless remote control built into the body. You get the unit itself, ton of fog modifiers, all of that stuff for just over a hundred bucks. I think this punch is well above its weight class and it's right up there with other products. I think like the Smoke Genie and the Smoke Ninja, which cost 750 and $250 respectively. So, I think this is a pretty good value, especially for what you get. So that has been the Ulanzi Filmog Ace. Hopefully you guys like checking this out with me. And if you did, definitely drop a like and subscribe to help me reach a thousand subs. And also be sure to share this video with anyone who you think might enjoy it. And be sure to drop a comment down below with your thoughts. With that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Later.